And in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new L'Oreal Rouge Liquid Lipsticks. So you can either feel awesome wearing these or so you can save your money because they're a total flop. Because you are enough. Hopefully these are awesome because my favorite liquid lipstick of all time, you guys know this, if you have been around for more than five minutes, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. I love this stuff. It is the longest lasting lipstick that is comfortable that I've ever owned. So I'm hoping these are even more comfortable and more amazing. One thing I don't absolutely love about the Infallible line is that they only have really very neutral shades and then like a red. There's no like super duper bright fun colors besides the red and so there's not as much like you, you know what I mean. It's just like come on where, where's my bright pink? So these are the new L'Oreal Paris Rouge set. Rouge. <laughs> I can't say it. Signature Lasting Matte Liquid Lipsticks. They're always a mouthful. So this is a lightweight matte colored ink that delivers a satin-like feel with the color impact of a liquid lipstick. Imparts lips with a high pigment matte finish with lasting wear. Okay, so these sound even better. If, the, if these lived up to their names, these sound even better than the infallible ones. Ugh. So they came in the mail yesterday. I swatched them because I couldn't resist. I was like, I have to wait to try these till tomorrow because I got to film this. But that doesn't mean I can't swatch them. So I swatched them. I'm like, oh, they're super pretty. And then they start. I was wearing a hoodie and they started getting on my hoodie. I was like, oh, dang, they, they're not transfer proof, which it doesn't say they're transfer proof, but the L'Oreal Fallible ones are. So I was hoping it'd be the same thing. And so I'm like, oh, I better take this off before it gets all over my hoodie. And um, I used my waterproof makeup remover and this happened. And so I was like, oh, dang. Well, maybe they stay. Okay, whatever. And I used some oil on top of the waterproof makeup remover and it stayed like that. And then I showered and it stayed like that. I'm like, okay, this ought to be interesting. So I'm going to spend the next three days testing out the three I got. I wanted to get a more neutral, a little bit lighter color to see how well more neutral Oh my goodness, see how well the more neutral tone type wear because I feel like those can wear a little bit better. They fade a little bit better if they're gonna fade, you know what I mean? And this one is in the shade I Rule. I think it's so pretty. Um, and then you have to get a red. You have to see if the red's good. And this is in the shade I Am Worth It. And then this one is kind of deceiving. I feel like the, the packaging is kind of deceiving in general. This one, not as much. This one, These two, they definitely are. This one is in the shade I Represent. I think I'm going to start out with I rule just because of my eye look. Like I said, I haven't tried these on my lips. I swatched them. I used a lip balm earlier. I wiped it off before I started filming. The doe foot applicator is interesting. It's pretty flat and then it's like, it seems like it doesn't pick up a lot of product, but I know it's not the case from what I, when I swatched, but I know when I swatched it, it didn't seem like that. It just seemed like there's not a ton of product on there. It's also very thin and flat and slanted. So I don't know, we'll see. Ooh, it feels nice. That is not the color I expected. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, I can taste it. I don't know about how I feel about that taste. I mean, it's going on really nice. <gasps> I like that color. I like how the applicator is a little bit thinner. You can really get into the corners of your lips nicely. I like how it applied. That's nice and I really like that color. But I really like how it applied. It looks really nice. It's not settling into my lips at all. It looks really smooth. I didn't get it on my teeth. So that's a bonus. The taste went away pretty fast. I have no idea how to describe the taste. Plastic fruit. It kind of feels like they were, they, it should be a fruity flavor. Does it smell like that? No, that's weird. But then it has kind of like a undertone of plastic. It's not as strong and it goes away pretty fast, but I wasn't expecting that, especially cause I'm used to the infallible ones or even the chocolate infallible ones where it's like, oh, you smell like heaven. <sighs> but I really like this shade. Okay, so now I'm going to go about my day and depending on how long the lipstick lasts is how many check-ins I'll do. Like I said, I wanted to start out with the one that I felt like if any of them were gonna look nice while fading, it'd be the this kind of more neutral pinky shade. So if it starts to fade like halfway through the day or right after I eat a meal, I'll come and show you. But if it's on there at the end of the day, then this video is gonna be shorter. <laughs> okay, it's late afternoon-ish sometime. I just finished eating like a late lunch and I'm now just noticing the lipstick starting to wear off right in the middle, but it's still decently there. I wouldn't say it's like completely, like it's still really pigmented on the outside edges, but right in the middle, it's gone. 
I might do a touch up today on this one and see if it's like it's a one touch up a day type lipstick. I was also thinking about it. I think I want to do one day where I try it with a lip primer and see if that makes a difference because I really like the feel of these. They're not drying at all, which is awesome. I'm, I'm curious to see how over the next few days while I try them to see if they start drying my lips over time because sometimes you know you can use a lipstick one day and it'll be fine and then the next day or the next day it's like it's not as good but it's not quite me meeting the expectations that I had but I'm not really mad at it either just because uh, it's more of satin and so I kind of expected it not to last quite as long but we'll see what happens and it's just this one color sometimes different colors do better than others I swear like you can tell what time of the day is based on how messy my hair is. Okay, so last update for this one. It's about in the same place it was last time we checked in, so there's not a super huge update. I'm kind of bummed out, but like I said, I have high hopes for the other colors because my hand. So we'll see what happens. Swatches don't always work out the same way as they do on the lips. Obviously, so annoying, but it's the case. And so let's move on to the next color. Okay, round two. Okay, today we're doing the shade I represent. This is hot pink. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Yes. That's like a watermelon pink almost. Man, I love the feel of these. I just got an IT. That was my bad because I tried to talk and do lipstick at the same time. Oh, I love this one. I feel like it's a lot more wearable than I thought it would be. I am totally comfortable with wearing bright pink, but I know not everyone is. I feel like it's more of a ready pink, so that makes it a little bit easier to wear. I really like it. And it's so soft. That's something I can't get over is like how soft, like comfortable it is. Cross our fingers that this one lasts a lot longer. Okay, it's the very, very end of the day. I was not home to do check-ins, unfortunately, and so I'm kind of just going off of what you saw in the last clip from the last lipstick. Except, it, it, this one did better, I think. It's still not there as much as it was this morning, obviously. But, um, basically what happened was it kind of faded, but then left a stain, and now the stain is faded, and now it's just in the middle. So it did last a lot longer than the lighter color, but it definitely didn't last as long as I was hoping. I never reapplied it throughout the day, though, which was nice and it's acceptable. It's not the best but it's definitely not the worst. It's not embarrassing. So we'll see what the red does. I feel like the red could go either way. Curious to find out. We'll see what happens. Last shade. Um, it doesn't exactly go with my top but I don't really care because it's, it's just a day to test out makeup. Oh that's pretty too. I like it. It's like a really pretty cherry red. But it also has like yeah because it kind of has a pink undertone. I'm used to wearing ones that are more blue undertone. But it's still really pretty. Okay, one thing I've decided is I want to see how well these perform with lip primer. So I'm going to take the one that lasts the longest. So if it's this one or this one's out of the running. Or the pink. And use it with a lip primer tomorrow and see if the helps all makes a difference or blah blah blah. Because I'm just curious. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. I'm Guys, I have some kind of sad news. <laughs> um, so at... Up till this point, it seems like this lipstick has been pretty much transfer proof after it dries. Like I've kissed Andy, I've, I've eaten, and it seems like it stayed, like you might get a little bit of transfer right like at the beginning and it kind of just, just, just the tiniest bit. Um, so I applied this one right and then I waited like a half an hour and then I ate some food. Plenty of time for it to dry down. Somehow it's on my finger, it's underneath my nose, it kind of like is all outside of my lips. I am so bummed out and it's a lot more worn down than the bright pink. So I'm gonna reapply it and see what happens. I would definitely not call this a long wear lipstick. Dang it man. It makes me sad. Okay, I gotta go get the lipstick off of me that's everywhere else that's not supposed to be. Okay, new day, I promise. I know yesterday was confusing because I switched shirts. Anyway, um, so yes, last night I decided I didn't even want to like film a final check-in for yesterday because it looked pretty much the exact same. Even the same color that the pink did. So from out of these three, I represent the, the like watermelon pink stayed the longest and did the best performance wise. So I want to take my lip primer and this is the Maybelline Prime It Up Multi Benefit Lip Primer. Um, I did a whole video on this and you, I'll link it so you can check it out if you want to but it has made a lot of liquid lipsticks that are supposed to last a long time and don't last longer. And so I want to see if this will make up the difference because I really like how these feel and how they look. It's just I want to see if I can make them last longer. I love this color. I think it's such a fun color. It'll be super fun for the summer. I'll let you know. See what happens. We'll do it. Okay. It's like midnight. Or just kidding. It's 1230. 
I should have done chicken a lot earlier than this, but I have great news. Uh, it lasts a lot longer. Now, obviously, <laughs> it's almost gone, but I feel like it faded a little bit better, and it actually lasted through like two meals before I started seeing it wear off. So, yay. Final thoughts. I like it, but it's definitely not replacing my favorite. Now, should you buy it? Do I regret buying it? No. It's, I think... They're really pretty colors. They're comfortable. If you're not planning on eating all day long, they'll stay on all day long. <laughs> the lip primer helps, so if you're into lip primers or if you've like wanted to try lip primer and you wanna get these, that would be a good opportunity, good excuse. They're so comfortable to wear. This video was harder to film because I forget I was wearing them, which is always a bonus. Um, they're really pretty colors. I love the applicator. So are they the longest lasting lipsticks ever? No. Do they last longer than a normal lipstick? Sure. Depending on which shade you get, they are pretty much transfer proof. Like, do I like them? Yes, I really do. Do you need to run out and grab them because it's the only lipstick you're ever going to need for the rest of your life? No. I don't think it's fail, but I don't think it's like this big success either. You know what I mean? Do I think you should buy it? Yes and no. I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Most likely if you're looking for the longest lasting lipstick ever, mm, probably want to try something else. If you're just looking for a really comfortable thinner formula that lasts a little bit longer than a normal lipstick especially when you use a primer I'd say yeah you'd like this so it depends on what you're looking for if you want to check out my last makeup review you can click right here if you want to check out my last hair project review you can click right here and if you want to subscribe you can click right here I love you guys so much and don't ever ever forget that you are enough bye Mwah.